Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at sentences in Spacey um, and we're basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of text and we're going to use Spacey to extract the individual sentences from that text. Now this is something you might be able to do yourself with a bit of patience and a bit of practice but it might be quite difficult and Spacey provides a very easy utility for you to do this therefore it's worth uh, digging into that a little bit and finding out how to use it. So I'm going to, as per usual, import the Spacey library and load up the English language model into an NLP object. Let me just make this a bit bigger. And then I'm going to read in some text here, um, again from the BBC, just some coronavirus news text. And we're going to create a doc object where we pass the text to the NLP constructor. So that gives us a spacey um, document object and from there we want to then say let me see the sentences um, so that's the text there you can see it's split into sentences um, but we want to get each individual sentence as part of a sequence now the doc ob object the spacey doc object has a property called sense and that basically um, is how you get access to these sentences. What it returns is something called a Python generator function. And a, a generator is basically something that, that can yield data and can be called numerous times until it's exhausted. We won't go into the details of that here, but uh, you could convert the generator to a sequence by calling, for example, the list function on the generator and that will return, you know, basically return everything that the generator would have yielded as a list. You can see that it looks kind of like we've got the sentences um, separated by a comma here, but we want to see this in a bit more of a usable way. So one thing you can do with a generator is you can loop over it. So we can say for sentence and doc.sense, print the sentence and at the end we'll put two new lines. Uh, actually, let's reduce that to one. So you can see it's kind of extracted the sentences from the document, if we compare them. Uh, because the original document had, um, basically had new lines in it, it's kind of hard to see that. So if I text.split, let's say, um, sorry, replace, we'll replace the new lines with just a space, um, we'll do that. So if we look at the document now, um, you see it's all just a bunch of text, there's there's no uh, separation of sentences into new lines here. Um, will the sense function still work, or the sense property still work? Um, and you can see when we end it with two new lines, you can see for each sentence in doc.sense, it actually still maintains, it still is able to find the sentences in the raw text. So that's a very quick video. This is just something I wanted to demonstrate. doc.sense, for a spacey document object, this is a property that exists on that object which contains, which it basically has a generator that yields each sentence that it finds within the document. In my experience, the doc.sense property, it works quite well or most of the time, but it's not perfect. Sometimes it will um, miss certain sentence boundaries or it will, uh, you know, for example, if you had, um, let's say, WHO, sometimes it, it might find those, um, that acronym, it might, it might end the sentence after the O, for example. It's not a perfect um, sentence, uh, you know, finder if you like, but it does work very well for most cases. If you need something more advanced, I think you can extend it as well. But it's important to know that it exists. A spacey document has this property called sense, and it's very useful if you want to split a piece of raw, unstructured text into sentences. That's all for this video. That was a short one. Thank you for watching.